hey cancer how are you guys doing welcome back to the channel guys thank you for tuning the freak in um please understand this is a general reading take what you need for you leave the rest for somebody else please 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 i beg you just keep an open mind this is general guys okay <laughs> um so this is for cancer sun moon rising and venus we're gonna see who the freak why the freak are they coming towards you okay <laughs> Um, and towards the end, I will be pulling some channel questions. So stay tuned, sit tight, grab a bite, catch a flight, take a high, whatever you need to do, cancer. All right. All right. So let's see what is coming to cancer in love. What do we have for my cancers? What do we have coming towards cancer in love? Cancer spirit, cancer. Mm, okay. Cancer, we have retreat. Take some time away from the situation to get some perspective on it. Some of you, maybe you're you're um, separated from this person right now, okay? Um, you have discussion. It's time to have a heart-to-heart -heart talk with your partner. All right. Well, she won't work God for the cancer. Bottom of the deck, we have secrets. There are hidden feelings or undisclosed intentions in this relationship. But I'm happy. Okay. <laughs> So let's see, what do we have for Cancer? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Ooh, where are you going? Now where are you going? <laughs> what is coming to my Cancerians in love? You may be going with a Taurus, a Virgo, or a Capricorn. Moon, Rising, or Venus. What is coming to cancer and love? Cancer. Cancer, at the bottom of the deck, we have nine of coins, okay? Beautiful. <laughs> so this is the overall energy. You may be dealing with, uh, remember, whatever I'm saying here could be you, the person you're dealing with, okay? So someone is in this energy to where they're trying to work on themselves right now. They're trying to possibly maybe become more independent or um, stable, okay, financially. So someone's in the self-care energy right now, okay? And maybe this could just be indicating that some of you are just single. You're happily single, okay? You're doing you, you don't give a freak. <laughs> All right, so maybe some of you are recently single. What is coming to Cancer in love? What is coming to Cancer in love? Cancer. So Cancer, you have the Ace of Swords, Reverse, the Five of Wands, Reverse. What's coming to Cancer in love, Cancer? I feel like communication could be better between you and this person, Cancer. Okay? For sure. What's coming to Cancer in love, Cancer? I feel like things are just not really clear to you. Like, things aren't really clear to you in this situation. Things feel, things feel very stagnant in this situation. It could be dealing with an Aquarius, uh, Pisces. So it's like mixed signals. You're not, you know, it's like needing to have like some type of conversation is what I feel, okay? Ace of Swords is in the reverse. So that usually shows up when there's confusion. Things are not, someone's not communicating clearly and possibly honestly, okay? You know, communication can clear up a lot of things. <laughs> What's coming to Cancer in love? Tell me more for Cancer in love. Cancer. You can definitely be dealing with an air sign, okay? Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, you have the Knight of Swords. What's coming to Cancer in love? Cancer. Two of Swords reverse. Maybe there's been some avoidance. You feel like this freak is giving you the silent treatment. You feel like you're not really getting much out of this person. You're not getting anything from this freak, okay? <laughs> so it's like maybe there's some type of distance here. This person's kind of cold. Someone's a little cold at this time. And you're trying to figure out your next move. Someone's trying to figure out their next move here. Someone feels breadcrumbed in this situation. Maybe whoever the hell you're dealing with comes and goes, okay? But I feel like... At the center of the reading, we have the High Priestess. There's a need for you to listen to your intuition, Cancer, at this time with this particular individual. What is the Ace of Swords reverse for Cancer in love? Ace of Swords reverse. The Ace of Swords reverse is the Five of Cups. 
the eight of coins the queen of cups okay so the love is still here obviously okay um could be done with another cancer i feel like someone has been maybe working more okay it's possible who had a reading like this capricorn taurus kind of did have this kind of reading this theme but someone's disappointed because someone's been working more or you know not paying them as much attention or something like that maybe someone feels as though they're they're just kind of more invested okay uh but i feel like that's really not the case someone just needs to kind of communicate um, and just be open, okay, about what they're going through, what's going on. I feel like someone's ready to throw their hands up, to be honest with you. What is the five of wands reverse? I feel like you're tired of trying to read this person's mind. Someone expects the other person to just read their head, read their freaking mind, okay? Like someone expects the other person to know what's going on, and that is not fair, okay? Could definitely be with, dealing with an Aquarius. Someone who's pretty distant from you right now, or they go cold or something. Hmm. What's the two of wands for cancer and love? The queen of coins reverse. Someone feels neglected. Maybe someone's not feeling, you know, uh, like someone's not paying attention to them. Uh, so this could be for some of you in relationships, okay? There's a lack of like attention here. Someone could just be away from work or something like that. There could be long distance in the situation. Maybe someone's having trouble with the distance, but they're not being honest about it. Okay. Someone may not feel good enough for the other person. It's possible. It's like when you feel as though you're not on your A game right now, maybe this could be financially finance related. Okay. And someone is trying to get out of some type of predicament right now. And that could be what they're dealing with. Okay, they're trying to uh, heal finances or maybe even heal abandonment issues. Okay, so what's that? I have like three cards here. Let me pick these up really quick. Pick her up. <laughs> All right, but it feels stagnant. It feels stagnant. What is the star for Cancer and Love? What is the star? Tell me about the star, please. The star is the Empress, the Four of Coins, and the, wow. Oh, jeez, okay. So are you telling me, Cancer, that you and this person actually do belong together? You guys do. You guys do belong together, okay? We have the Emperor and the Empress here. But the problem is that I feel like no matter what is going on right now, you and this person are going to end up together, Cancer. That's kind of what I feel. I just feel that way. Despite what it seems like, what it feels like. What is the two of swords reverse for a cancer? But I feel like there's gonna be there may there may be some avoidance on someone's end, but I feel like this avoidance is gonna come to an end. What is the knight of swords for cancer and love? Knight of swords. The Ace of Swords. So this person is about to be honest with you, communicate honestly with you as to what is going on with them, okay? Why they're so distant, why things are stagnant, why does it feel like you're negligent, okay? <laughs> why does it feel like, you know, you're, you're, you're going cold on me or you're becoming distant or something like that? So you're about to get the truth. The Knight of Swords <laughs> is going to tell you the truth. So whoever's been doing this to you, Cancer, just understand you're about to get the truth. And the truth may be that they tell you perhaps they feel like they're not ready. They're not ready just yet to settle down. They're not ready just yet to move this forward. And that's why things are stagnant. Okay. What is the six of coins? But there's a lot of coins here. It could have to do with money. This is six of coins for cancer. Like this is someone who wants to be able to give to you equally. And they maybe they feel like they can't right now. So things are kind of like on hold or it's just maybe you guys mutually decide to go your own separate ways or somebody just kind of needs a little time to themselves right now to kind of get their, their, their stuff together here, guys. What is, it, what is the high priestess? What is the high priestess for cancer and love? You know, I feel like. All there needs to do is just be a literally a clear cut conversation.
why do I feel like someone's just not, I mean, come on, someone doesn't have the cojones, the balls to be honest here, to break news to the other person about them feeling as though they're not, they're not ready to date, or if this is your partner, maybe perhaps your partner is starting to get cold feet, okay? Maybe they feel like they, they can't give you what you need for some of you. Hmm. Tell me more for Cancer in this love situation, Cancer. Okay. The Seven of Swords is in the reverse. So the self-deception is coming to an end. This freak is about to be very honest with you. Sagittarius pulled a similar reading. What else for uh, Cancer in this love situation? The Chariot reverse. More delays, more blocks. Someone's not ready to push this forward. Cancer, Cancer, Cancer. And then you have the King of Swords reverse. So this is someone who's kind of like not being, they haven't been honest with you, Cancer. They have not been honest with you. Page of Coins reverse. So it's like bad news here. Someone needs to step up, be honest, tell the truth, okay? Take accountability for what you're doing here. Someone is like literally just keeps lying just just go ahead and be honest about your predicament okay and it could just be something as simple as this person feels like they're not ready to like settle down with you if you're in a relationship or they're not ready to commit maybe you know money could be a, a problem for this person it's possible or for some of you maybe one person is just more invested than the other okay but this person that's gone distant from you, they're about to tell you why they've been distant. Cancer, okay? Or why they've been acting strange or whatever the hell this freak has been doing. So what is the advice for cancer in this love situation? The advice is the Knight of Cups reverse. What is the advice for cancer in this love situation? The Ace of Wands reverse. I feel like some of you may have to break the bad news to somebody. Nine of Wands. I feel like someone has something to tell the other person that they've been just afraid to tell them, avoidant or something like that, you know? Maybe someone wants to just take a different path right now and just kind of focus on themselves. Wow. I mean, damn. What does it take for a freak to just be honest already, you know? <laughs> Be honest, keep it real with my cancers, man. Whew. Cancer, this person says, everyone just gets me annoyed. All I want to do is be with you. What does this person want to tell their cancer? What does this person want to tell their cancer? Maybe this could also be the result of someone feeling uh, neglected. You know? They're like, you know, I can't do this anymore. This freak could be mad at you, cancer. Someone's probably upset with you, or maybe when you tell them this or something, uh, they could be upset or get upset. Yeah. Somebody's crying over you. What the freak? What does this person want to tell cancer? What does this person want to tell cancer, please? Cancer. Yeah, I mean, someone, someone... <laughs> Maybe withholding the fact that they want to kind of work on themselves because, like I said, we were seeing that Nine of Pentacles. You know, this is somebody who kind of wants to get themselves together first. I'm in my feelings deep and always in my dream. What does this person want to tell Cancer to this Cancer? Huh. Spying on you like crazy. The grass wasn't greener. It's not you, it's me. Hmm. Shy to approach you or nervous. Forgive me. Regret my poor decisions. Missing you is driving me insane. Wow, that's... Hmm. Well, Cancer. Um, whoever the hell this freak is... Just prepare for someone to kind of tell you the truth already, okay? 
Uh, maybe they've just been avoiding about this, but they're going to finally just lay it on you and let you, got, let you know what is going on here. And I mean, for some of you, if it's a case of unrequited love or something, then that may be known as well. Okay. All right, that is what I have for you, Cancer. I hope you enjoyed this reading. I hope this gave you the clarity that you needed right now. Thank you so much for booking. Have a good one.